2006 until 2015 I managed LEAP and when, when I first came down, knowing the park as a, as a local resident, I really wanted to create a circular route because it's a long thin park along the coast and you can walk out and back but you can't do circles so one of my first things that I wanted to try and do was to create a circle for people to walk. started out literally get the OS map out and have a look and see what the existing footpaths there are and luckily there were quite a few existing rights of way and permissive routes which would link into a, into a handy loop. One of the things the Country Park has done is open people's eyes to the immediate hinterland and the, the pleasures of, of the contrast. You've got a little bit of everything, you've got some seashore, you've got some farmland, some little wooded copses, quite a lot of wildlife en route, some track lands through the, through the farmland, so a little bit of everything and nice in all seasons. And it's um, one of the few points of access to the Western Solent. A lot of it is private estate land, so it's a very important resource for local residents to have access to the shore and lovely views over the Isle of Wight. The Leap Loop has uh, been around for about the last 10 years uh, as an official loop. It's likely that a lot of the trackways were used uh, in historical terms. Uh, Leap was quite a key fishing port back uh, as far as Roman times and we also have quite a wealth of uh, D-Day heritage. The site was used for a lot of the preparations for the D-Day loudings and it's likely that troops might have travelled through these trackways to access Leap um, for all those D-Day preparations. Lots of people come down here for various recreational purposes so uh, we do get a lot of people who enjoy their water sports. There aren't a huge number of uh, publicly accessible beach uh, spaces um, so people do come particularly from the, the inner city areas of Southampton um, to enjoy this part of the coastline. People think about the New Forest being mainly forest but see we've got uh, 26 miles of coastline as well within the National Park. The work we need to do on the path is uh, mainly resurfacing work to try and uh, improve the boggy areas. It gets very wet after prolonged rain and also during the winter months some of it's impassable as well. The work also would require some signposting as well just to give people that confidence that they're on the right route and they're going the right way. Most of the rest of the National Park is quite open uh, access land so it can be quite daunting for people to know where to walk or how to plan a route. So having way marked trails means that uh, there's people can follow the signs. There's a real benefit of coming out and walking within the National Park both for physical health but also for mental health as well and you know, we all know the benefits of going out for a, for a nice walk and hopefully this will encourage more people to come out and enjoy this special place.